Hey everybody on YouTube. Uh, I wanted to kind of show everyone how to get their computers ready to use a Ubuntu install disk. There we go. Usually when a computer boots up it says press F2 for setup or something like that and then you can boot into the BIOS. Now I have a BIOS password set up. I always recommend everyone to do that because if your computer is ever stolen it can't be used. Um, it's very difficult to reset a, uh, a BIOS password, actually darn near impossible for the average person. I mean, they can look it up, but they need to know the serial number. They need to know a lot about your computer. Anyway, so once you're in the BIOS, best place to go, see there's a main menu, there's advanced, there's security, there's others, and then there's boot. Okay. And see here on the, on the side, it says to you know, uh, use up and down arrows to select a device. F5 and F6 moves the device up or down. Now, normally, see, your hard drive would be up at the, up at the top, and then you have your CD drive or whatever underneath it. Now, this is not what we want. We want the CD DVD drive up above the hard drive. So, I'm going to move that up. Now the CD DV drive is above that. Reason why we want this: when we put in the the Ubuntu install disk, or Lubuntu, or whichever install disk that you have, we want the computer to initially boot from it. The and then it'll have the option of you'll have the option of using it, uh, testing it out live, which I would recommend doing, making sure everything works, like your internet and all that, and then you can install it. So if things don't work, if you have older hardware or whatever, you'll know right away, and you won't, ha you wouldn't have installed the uh, the operating system, you know, um, and it wouldn't have caused like problems. So if you have older hardware that doesn't work, you'll know right away. So after you do this, you press um, F10 to save and exit. Looks like I can't get that zoomed in on there, but it's F10 to save and exit. Save configure changes on exit, yes. And voila. So now the BIOS will look first to the optical drive, my CD DVD drive to boot up from. And if there's no disk in there to boot from, it will just go straight to, it'll boot from the hard drive. Now people are wondering, how can it how can I run a live disk? Well that's quite simple. The optical drive sends information to the RAM that the processor uses just like or excuse me the CD would just like the the hard drive would and then it just kinda runs it from there so thanks for watching guys and uh, take care